Hi, uh, today I will cover the embedded value uh, design pattern. This embedded value design pattern belongs to object relational structural patterns and uh, this object relational structural patterns belongs to uh, patterns of enterprise application architecture and uh, we will see uh, the explanation of uh, embedded value uh, design pattern. Uh, the first point is maps an object into several fields of another objects table and uh, second point is when some small object makes sense in our system that don't make sense as a table in the database we need to use embedded value to map the values of the object to fields in the record of the objects owner uh, we will see uh, uh, example so that you will understand uh, uh, these points um, so we will take uh, two class one is uh, shipping item and uh, another one is uh, uh, address class so both uh, the sh shipping item class and address class are persistent class and uh, uh, if you see this uh, uh, shipping item class uh, it has uh, shipping item related information like uh, shipping id item name uh, shipping date and the uh, address where it should uh, the item should be delivered uh, so private address destination and address uh, address has uh, like address information like uh, street uh, city and uh, state postal code if you see this class uh, this shipping item and uh, address are like one to one relationship uh, one shipping item and uh, only one address so the particular shipping item should be delivered to a single address so uh, normally how we will uh, design the uh, tables for this uh, scenario it will be look like this uh, the shipping item class uh, points to the uh, shipping item table and address class will point to the address table and uh, uh, suppose if you want to get uh, shipping item information uh, particular sh shipping item information then what we have to do is we have to use uh, join inner join to get information uh, of shipping item from the shipping item table and address uh, we have to use like this select uh, s dot star a dot star from uh, shipping item that is the first table and uh, the alias name s and uh, second table addresses and alias name a and where the shipping a dot shipping id equal to uh, s dot shipping id so we have to use join to get uh, information of the particular uh, shipping item so if we use uh, join uh, automatically uh, performance will be uh, decreased okay uh, so if you see this uh, classes uh, shipping item and address this shipping item has only one address uh, it is like one to one uh, relationship so to avoid this inner join and uh, uh, referring to the multiple tables what we can do is uh, we can do like this you can see the right side uh, what we can do is both the class points to the single table so we will merge uh, these two table in the single table uh, and now if you want to get uh, shipping item uh, information the query will be like this select stars s dot star from shipping items yes so the single query will uh, solve the problem so instead of using uh, inner query like this join inner join like this uh, and uh, this way performance will also improve okay uh, so here if you see uh, address item uh, this ship shipping items uh, this table is belong to this uh, shipping item this is the uh, another object uh, uh, that is address object uh, which points to the shipping item uh, table okay so now if you read that uh, points you will understand maps an object into several fields of another object table in this uh, shipping item is the main table uh, and shipping item class is the main class okay but what we are doing is this address object uh, fields we are mapping to the another object table so in this case this address object fields street cities uh, state postcode these fields we are mapping to the 
shipping item uh, object uh, table so we are what we are doing is we are mapping an object into a several fields of another object table and uh, second point is when when some small objects make sense of OO system that doesn't make sense as a table in database so in this case uh, this we can separate uh, separately have shipping item uh, object and address item object but there is no need to define two tables uh, for that like shipping items address we can put it in a single table so it doesn't make sense as a table in database we need to use embedded value to map values of object fields in the record of objects owner in this case object owner is uh, shipping item what we are doing is we are mapping uh, embedded value in this case uh, address table uh, object values to the uh, main table uh, main table or uh, main object uh, fields so this is about embedded value design pattern uh, thanks for watching